This morning in the Eagle studio, Brody Boschman from the Winkler Flyers with us. Brody, welcome here. Thanks for having me. And uh, it was a big evening last night with a gold medal for Canada. Can you talk about seeing that team take home that gold? You said you watched the highlights this morning. Yeah, I watched the highlights this morning when I woke up, and I think it's pretty cool. It's, re- it's really good for them winning a gold medal out there. So. Absolutely, and you could see it when the buzzer hit. They were super, super pumped. It, it kind of gave me chills almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we're talking today about the Winkler Flyers. You guys are uh, back on the ice this weekend taking on Selkirk. Can you talk about what the game plan is for you guys? Um, we just got to we gotta work hard, and we got to score a lot more goals because we've been losing lately, and we got to get back in that win column, especially for Selkirk. Uh, there's a big two points on the line. And so there's a, there's a process to get to that point, and it sounded like last night you guys were uh, working at getting to that point where you guys are back in the win column. Yeah, yesterday at practice <laughs> was pretty tough, a lot of tough drills, and then a little skate at the end. There we go. So they kind of worked, it worked you pretty, pretty hard. Now you're tired, but you still made it at 7.30 in the morning yeah. on a day off, no less. Yeah. And so on a day off for, uh, for Brody Boschman, can you talk about what that usually looks like? Well, I'll probably usually sleep in a little longer than I did today and then wake up, maybe go to the, the rink, get a workout in or hang out with some buddies, go watch a movie or something. And so you're from Ile Shane, you're billeting right here in Winkler. So, so far living in this community, can you talk about what that's been like or how it's different to Ile Shane? Uh, it's a little different in Ile Shane. Ile Shane's definitely a lot smaller than Winkler, but same thing, both ho- hockey towns and but Winkler's definitely a lot bigger than Ile Shane. Absolutely, and so you're not the only Ilda Shane guy. There's three others, one of them being your brother. So yeah. uh, talk about having that connection with your teammates, being from Ilda Shane and having a brother at the same time. Well, I think it's pretty cool that we all ended up here from Ilda Shane. Like, we all uh, knew each other growing up and played hockey together, so I think it's pretty cool. And, yeah, having my brother on the team, at the start we uh, weren't too sure how it would go, but... Mm-hmm. I think now it's pretty cool and something we'll never forget. Yeah, and so uh, being all from Ilda Shane, from what I've heard from Ilda Shane, is it's kind of a hockey town in the way that uh, when there's nothing to do, people are out there on the ice uh, outside playing. Yeah, definitely. If you're not playing on the indoor rink, you're on the outdoor rinks, just always playing hockey. And so with the Winkler Flyers, it's not only on ice stuff, it's also uh, doing stuff off the ice, whether it's uh, coming here for an interview or uh, putting on a a lunch or doing some volunteering. Can you talk about what that off ice stuff has been like for the team? I think it's pretty cool. It definitely gives our team a lot of recognition or when you're going to help out with the the younger kids, I think it's pretty cool. It's something they won't forget. Absolutely. Well, uh, Brody, thanks so much for coming in today and, and, and talking to us. Yeah, thank you for having me.